Hey guys, welcome to Body Bags. It's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and it's Friday, and we are doing Slaughter Week. So pretty much anything that has the word slaughter in the title is what we're reviewing. I picked a uh, goodie from 1987. Uh, came out like an 88 or so. It's I can only find it on a bootleg. You can get it on VHS if you can. But this one is from, I said that already, <laughs> and that is called Slaughterhouse Rock. Uh, very interesting uh, demon possession film slash uh, rock and roll metal horror movie. Uh, pretty much your main character is Nicholas uh, Calozzi, he was in Risky Business. He plays Alex Gardner. Him and his brother are college students. And Alex is having these issues sleeping. He's having these horrible nightmares um, being on Alcatraz. And something is going after him and pretty much torturing him in his dreams. So at first his brother was kind of like, you know, whatever, whatever. Till one night he has a bunch of buddies over, his girlfriend over, another girl. And a dream psychologist happened to come over at the same time. And they find him on fire in bed. And when they wake and the fire just disappears and no one's burned. They try and figure out what the possibility this is. Then later on they find him levitating in bed. And something is really trying to take him over. So the dream psychologist says, you know, you better go to Alcatraz tonight. <laughs> and figure out what is triggering these weird ass dreams. So they go to actual Alcatraz where it's actually shot at. And... Um... Uh, he gets pulled into a room, Alex. Now, the rest are just wandering around, not knowing where Alex is. Alex finds a spirit of a woman who's actually Tony Basil there. And uh, she is a rock star that performed music. They are going to perform a music group in uh, Alcatraz and somehow got murdered. There's a little weird story on that. <laughs> so, he doesn't believe her at first, but then... Alex's brother is pulled into a like a hole in the wall after everybody takes off running because they find a dead security guard in a barrel. He gets possessed by a demon. Now this demon's actually a gentleman from I want to say the Civil War. He was practicing black magic, and he was torturing women and then mutilating them and then going into cannibalism. While the Native American Indians weren't liking this because a lot of them were missing. They decided to burn him alive in this weird sack. And of course, his remains were in this vase at Alcatraz. <sighs> well, then we go to Tony Basil's character there, who happened when she was alive. They're doing a little uh, backstory on her. She's the one that released the spirit. And she gets possessed and kills her bandmates. And then she's back to being a spirit on Alcatraz forever until something else frees her. Well... So now he's trying to figure out how he can stop pretty much his brother, which is not his brother anymore because the spirit of his brother is talking to him. And he can see spirits of anybody dead that died on Alcatraz. This one is just really weird. I don't know. <laughs> the music is awesome. If you like the band Devo, uh, Devo does most of the music in this film. And Tony Basil does a song with Devo, which was pretty neat. Now, my thoughts on this film, uh, if you like really bad 80s cheesy films, you might like this. Um, there's definitely some good gore to it. There is some nudity. Uh, there's a cool scene where uh, in one of Alex's dreams, he's hanging up by these ropes from his arms and his legs. And there's a fire burning and he's got sores and whelps and burn marks on his back. And then the demon guy comes up and takes a bite out of them. It was kind of neat. Uh, it has kind of gave me a feeling of uh, demons there when he was possessed, the way he looked. <clears throat> a couple of cheesy one-liners. Some just weird shit with uh, Tony Basil's character there when she was, you know, trying to bring his soul out of his body for Alex there. I don't know. It was just really weird. Out of a... Uh, a 10, I would probably give this maybe a 6.5. I found myself kind of lost a little bit on what characters were which. 
The music was really good. I enjoyed the music. I enjoyed some of the special effects. Uh, some of the makeup was well done. Uh, there was the guy, the demon in like a demon form. Looked pretty neat. Uh, the kills weren't the greatest. Some of them were just pretty cheesy, except for uh, one kill was actually pretty gory. The rest were just kind of kind of lame. You think they'd be getting more for an '80s film? But this is Slaughterhouse Rock. Uh, this was a bootleg that I have. Yeah, wasn't bad for a bootleg. All right, guys, thanks for watch. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little review. And you have yourself a good one, guys. Take care. Later. Peace.